Hi, uh, this is Bob from the uh, northern part of Indiana. I uh, just thought I'd try sharing another video here. Uh, only the second one I've actually done or attempted. A uh, little bit about me. I've uh, retired here a couple years ago and uh, never was a machinist by trade. I uh, did sales for 35, 40 years and uh, in the last six years I've since purchased a mini lathe and mill. And, Always had an interest in uh, metalworking. Anyway, um, pretty much self-taught, other than watching a whole lot of videos and and seeing the professionals how they do it online. Uh, YouTube has been a big, big help for me. Um, a lot of them you probably know and uh, have watched, but certainly highly recommend Mr. Pete uh, Adam A Bomb. He's really good. Tom at Ox Tool. Uh, Keith Finner, of course, at Turn Right, excellent machinists, they all are. Keith Rucker, uh, another fellow that's very interesting to watch outside Screwball, and we even learned a lot from NYC CNC on some CNC stuff. But uh, those are just a few that I've come across, and uh, but have learned a lot from them. Anyway, if you're halfway interested in getting into this and thinking about doing it, why well, take the plunge? I think you'll enjoy it. This little engine here. Uh, was basically my first one. Uh, it's a little steam launch. Uh, Elderberry Steam, I think, is a company that made that the kit, and uh, it's a machinable kit. Uh, got it from LMS, little machine shop. Another great source for special toolings for the small hobbyists like myself. Uh, they had this on sale a number of years ago, and uh, probably been four or five years ago since I've done this one. But it's just a little launch engine. I uh, run it off a of compressed air. Um, has uh, kind of an intricate valve. It was kind of a challenge for me at the first part. Uh, this is the valve that turns within here to distribute the air to the exhaust intake up to the cylinder. Uh, quite quite a challenge getting that to fit right. But uh, that's the fun of it. Finally got it. Um, Basically, a very simple, simple little engine. I suppose I spent uh, one winter time, uh, most of it, uh, the first time, just uh, fiddling around this out in the shop. This was before I actually retired. Uh, it takes a little more air than what some of my other engines have or have a need for. But uh, let's see if we can make it run here. Let me show you that it does does work. some air here. We're running about 20 pounds of air. I didn't oil it up, but uh, see it does run. Runs runs rather well. Once you get her dialed in and lined up, why well, it'll just run all day. But anyway, I'd like to share that with you. And it's a uh, Simple, simple little engine, but it does require some uh, thought and machining uh, skill. You'll learn with this is, uh, boy, you really need to be square and have your uh, know how to line up things and uh, fits, uh, bore, turning. Um, the little gear set that I made next to it there is just something I did uh, oh, one after I built this. I, I just wanted to make some gears or try it out. I had a little rotary table that I got from LMS and uh, thought well I'll make some bevel gears haven't used it for anything other than the fact that it uh, it works and that really required a lot of lining up and and uh, setup of your bevels and cutting the gears had a couple gear cutters I think I'd gotten from uh, I don't know Grizzly or one of those at the time and had them for a while and thought I'd try cutting gears haven't hooked it up to anything yet, but uh, it did uh, did teach me a lot about machining and how precise <clears throat> you've got to be sometimes. But I would highly recommend this little kit if you're thinking of starting out. It is a pretty good starter kit. I've, I've had a couple others that I did that are a little easier to do. Uh, wobblers and uh, that I did actually after this one. And I'll show those uh, maybe in a Another video here if it shows any interest uh, in it. But uh, anyway, 
that was a quick video on uh, this one engine and uh, like I say if uh, you're interested in doing this or thinking about doing it and as a hobby and that's what I do uh, boy get into it you you won't regret it so uh, anyway this is Bob from northern Indiana we're going to sign off for now thank you